Hello, James here. I'm up here at the homestead and it's snowing right now, but it's not sticking. I've been working on a series of videos up here in my digital studio right behind me there. And it's dealing with an anterior zirconia bridge out of Zircad MT Multi. And I really prefer that material if I need to use zirconia. It's more aesthetic, has more translucency. And then I use meal on the outside of it. The video series that I'm creating is focusing on the fact that the initial design of the bridge was designed in Terracite Prime Scan. And what happened is that with the draw of the abutments and the height of the Ponic, I couldn't fit it within a bridge block, particularly the Zircad MT Multi. So what we did is we transferred that file over to InLab via DXD to preserve that initial design and then export that with the STL, transferred it into the AviClear CAM software and milled it out in the 5-axis PM7. And I'm finishing that up here at the homestead where I have a full digital lab. I enjoy the full process of completing a project within what we do clinically. I really have loved CEREC. I'm now transferring into other systems in my website and also on YouTube channel and here on this Facebook site. I'm going to be calling that the crossover transformation of where with digital capture and moving that in to DS Core, we can use multiple scanning devices, we can use multiple designing softwares, and then we can use multiple machining or printing options and then finishing that. My forte and what I teach, particularly in my hands-on classes and on my online series is finishing. That's kind of what I love doing. On this case, Mio 850 was used to finish the bridge on the labial surface. What I found interesting is that both with ceramics and zirconia, I prefer to place my surface texture into the material, whether it be a ceramic or zirconia. What I like about the 850 glaze, and you do fire it in the corrective Emacs cycle, is that it allows that beautiful surface texture to come through, even though it's slightly neutralized, that's done with a purpose, it really looks nice. So I'm working on a series of videos that will walk us through this process and how we can now take our digital clinical theater, particularly if you have Prime Scan, and open that up to other softwares, other milling units, or printing. The provisionals were printed, which was really nice on the Sprint Ray crown and bridge uh, build plate. So that's fairly efficient. It fits like clockwork. We're in a really good time of dentistry. This season did have some nice surprise packages for me, particularly with the disc. I ordered directly from Ivyclair, so you're gonna order and set up a lab account. And then that arrived here in three days. I went out and pick that up at our receiving chapel here at the homestead. Uh, I love what I do up here at the homestead. I have a side-by-side uh, -side four wheeler, which is actually my Cat Star Mobile. And I use that to pick up supplies out at the chapel. I do have to go out and pick up our deliveries and our mail a distance from the house. You folks have a great final 2024. We're just about ready to hit 2025. I really think this next year is gonna be very interesting in the digital world, particularly the fact now that we have totally open systems. DS Core has been part of that. I'm a huge fan of it, and I'll be making a lot of videos implementing that workflow 
were a lot of different systems. It's called the crossover experience within our digital clinical theaters. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna share that at my YouTube channel, James Clem DDS, and then also more training with using these modalities at uh, catstar.org or clinginstitute.com. You folks take care. Bye, happy new year. Thank you.